Okay, Mrs. Gertz is going to be joining us today in the flesh to talk about one of the pitches from last week. Network Brass is coming today. Miranda? I was wondering, um, with the cancellation of Motorcycle Mamas, are we looking to replace it with another female-centric show? Not necessarily. Because my pitch for this week is a show called On Patrol, where we follow a group of safety patrol kids and show how important the work they do is. You know, keeping the other kids safe. I think it would fill the spot nicely. Hi, I'm June Tiara. Of course, you remember me as TV's Maddie Minx from the classic comedy, Don't Jinx the Minx. But I'm here to tell you that me, June Tiara, am also a former student at LaChance Academy. Believe me, this place is the best. I learned so much here from the teachers and from the students. Colors, spelling, reading, how to give up a, a star-making performance right here where I made my acting debut in the LaChance preschool production of The Crucible. LaChance gave me the confidence to become a star and a role model and the smarts to get what I got. And I had a lot. Thanks to LaChance, I had a beautiful home. I had two amazing luxury cars with three different drivers, four purebred Rhodesian Ridgebacks. They were so pretty. It was a good time back then, but Things come and go. What I learned at LaChance will stay in my heart and mind for at least many years to come. I never would have learned anything if it wasn't for the great education I received as a student at LaChance Academy. Half the cast of that show are either in jail or dead, but not me. No, my record is clean as of now. Thanks to LaChance, I got way more than an education, more than a learning experience. It was a total personal growth environment. I made friends that will last a lifetime, and so will your child. If you think your child has that extra sparkle and what it takes to be a star, that gift inside, open the present that is LaChance Academy. Apply for an interview application today. I loved it here at LaChance. gonna like it here. I beg you, Lindy. You're the only thing I have in my life. Don't put me in this place. Grandma, everything's gonna work out. You'll get used to it, I promise. It won't work out. I don't want to get used to it. And I'm not a child, so don't treat me like one. I'm sorry. I'm afraid of this place. I just want to go home. Wake up, my little hummingbird! Listen to Gigi. You're about to embark on the greatest adventure of your young, undemanding life. Adventure? Oh, no disrespect, boss, but do you think your girlfriend here could pull this off? It's time to earn your keep. Sweet, sweet Gwendolyn. Mort, reveal the plan. All right, look, I'm not gonna lie to you. We're setting a trap and you are the bait. You should prepare yourself for danger. And thrills. You're bound to come across some very unsavory characters. New friends. There's certainly going to be violence. Or romance. And Uzis and machetes and bloodshed. Damn it! We're not sending her to Daytona Beach for spring break. This is war. Well, I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt. No, no, don't be silly, my little pinwheel. In Chi Chi's war, no one gets hurt. So, now that we have a minute, here we go. We would like to discuss a date. Do you have to wear like real bridesmaid dresses? Not <laughs> Molly in a dress, that's gonna be awesome. <laughs> Turning our discussion to more important things. When we get back to the hotel, I want my own room. You can share a room with your sister. You don't get much chance to spend time together anymore. That's completely intentional. Perhaps not now, Jerry. Excuse me, I'm talking to my father? Jessica. 
I'm sorry, Annette, but your little attempt to play happy family vacation by having a nice picnic here has fallen a bit flat due to the fact that I am freezing my ass off and it smells like shit out here. Not exactly a hallmark moment. Jess, why do you always have to be such a fucking cunt? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! Break it up, you two. Us two? She's the one who called me a cunt! You still got serious mental problems, you know. Okay, that's a little below the belt. Kid. Oh, I'll be sure to register your complaint with my actual mother. Jessica! There's just no need to be so selfish. Don't tell me what to do, you little psycho. Dad, enough. Molly needs to switch her meds again. I said enough. This whole trip is fucked! Oh my god. You guys, Marco just texted me. It says, you and your friends should come to Sugarland tonight. Oh my god, do you guys wanna go? Yeah. Oh my god, it, uh, he just texted me again! It says, be there in five. Five minutes. Look hot. Oh my god, you guys, he's telling me to look hot. Do you think he thinks I'm hot, or is he telling me to look hot? Because usually I'm not. Oh yeah, your lips are hot. Kinsey, I really like that eyeliner. You yeah. sure like your belt. Okay, Suze, you really need to let the belt go. Are you okay? Yes, it's just... You guys, this is making me look fat. No, no you yeah. look fine. I know. Just try sucking in your stomach like this. We're not going, Marco, okay? We don't go clubbing. So you can just F off down the road. That's right. We don't even like clubbing. And we don't like you or your douchebag friends. Besides, we only have one cute outfit for the four of us. So you can suck it, Marco. 